in today's episode of Homestead How. A big part of being a homesteader is cooking your own food from scratch. Our girls, Katie and Alyssa, are going to attempt to make dinner today, including some homemade tortillas and tacos from scratch on our homestead. Let's see how these things turn out. And I'm Katie. Let's go. We're making homemade flour tortillas. Uh, we're doing two cups of flour. This recipe is beyond simple. It's two cups of flour, three tablespoons of oil, and then about three quarters of a cup of warm, lukewarm water. You may have to adjust and add a little bit more water depending on how it turns out. And then while they're doing that, Katie's got this ready. We have our cast iron skillet over here warming up. And then sometimes if it's not small enough. So we use the press, roll, press, trim it around with the pizza cutter, and then throw it on the cast iron skillet to cook. I just watched a video and they said don't use oil. You're just not supposed to use anything. Maybe just put a little bit in there. This is just for the tortillas. We're still gonna make meat, lettuce, and all that stuff. The press we bought is pretty cool, but it doesn't flatten the tortillas all the way. I wonder if you use some different ingredients, maybe to make corn tortillas, this metal press might work a little bit better. So the girls use the press and they use the roller. The trick here was to get the pieces nice and flat before cooking them. Why do you pat it? Why do you pat it? Because why not? Living on a homestead with a, 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 a fire that gets going every day. Or with the idiot behind the camera. Uh. <laughs> Stop! I have... Here, can you get it? Just take it What's it like uh, having someone following around with a camera all the time? Super annoying. annoying. Yeah, that's annoying. It's like a day in the life, but it's every day. Would you rather live in a city? Yes, kind of. That's why I'm with, nice with, when I go to you. With cars blaring their music and people shooting each other? Is that what you want, Alyssa? Well, I mean, I you want to be, be, I mean, be shot? Katie, you want to be shot? I always wanted to be shot. It would be cool. It's it cool would be. It would be cool to get shot and be like, hey, look at my bullet wound. If you survive the shot. I don't know why you wouldn't. Somebody got shot seven times. If you got shot in the leg, you'd be like, dude, check this out. <laughs> We wanted a lot of tortillas, so Alyssa's making a second batch here. Two more cups of flour, three tablespoons of oil, and some more water. Ready to be flipped. Oh, that looks better than last time. Yeah, I cooked it. Actually, like this. Mm -hmm. Put that phone on here. Baxter loves to be on camera. I think this one's done, Alyssa. We don't want to overcook it. Okay, I'll get out of You're not the cooker, are you? You can add that sound effect in. When it starts bubbling, that's when you know it's ready to flip. Make it some instant rice. We've got some black beans, and then Katie's gonna work on the taco toppings.
All right, girls, what do we got? Tortillas, chips, taco dip. Homemade tortillas, show us one of those. Ooh, those look good. This looks really good, girls. You think it's gonna taste good? Yeah. yeah. You also made homemade, what is that stuff? Taco, taco dip? A little bit of cream cheese. cream cheese, lettuce, cheese, black olives, some taco sauce. This food turned out delicious. Katie and Alyssa did an excellent job. If you've never made homemade tortillas, we'd highly recommend it. It is a lot of work, but they taste so much better than those store-bought tortillas. For more great homesteading videos, please hit that subscribe button and tell a friend. Thanks for watching.